Is a fabulous card player. Team sticks. Let's double it. Five dollars a point. Did you say five? My luck's got to change sometime. Okay. I'll get back to the office and cable M you're on the job. You can fill me in on the rest of dinner. Fine, I'll call you later. Right across the street. Well, she didn't. She didn't. Right across the street. I don't. I don't believe that. You know. I don't know. Four. So soon. How many? Oh, seven, twelve, eighteen, thirty-two, forty-four. Miss. And would you? Th that's Mr. Goldfinger's suite. Yes, I know. You're very sweet. He just drew the king of clubs. That makes us count fifty-nine. He's got a diamond run, eight, nine, ten. He's holding on to the six of spades, so I guess he thinks you want it. That last draw was the eight of hearts. He needs kings and queens. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. <laughs> come on, come on. That's more like it. What's your name? Jill. Jill who? Jill Masterson. Tell me, Jill. Why does he do it? He likes to win. Why do you do it? He pays me. Is that all he pays you for? And for being seen with him. Just seen? Just seen. I'm so glad. You're much too nice to be mixed up in anything like this. Now hear this, Goldfinger. Your luck has just changed. I doubt very much if the Miami Beach police would take kindly to what you're doing. Nod your head if you agree. Nod. Good. Now start losing, Goldfinger. Shall we say, uh... Ten thousand dollars. Now let's be generous. Let's make it fifteen thousand. May I see? Well, I can see this is really my day. Jen. Over and out. That should keep him occupied for quite some time. I'm beginning to like you, Mr. Bond. No. Oh, call me James. More than anyone I've met in a long time, James. Well, what on earth are we going to do about it? Yes, what? I'll tell you at dinner. Where? Well, I know the best place in town. WEBS brings you the latest in world news. Washington. At the White House this afternoon, the president said he was entirely satisfied. Well, that makes two of us. Hello. Lighter here. Oh, Felix. Well, now. Oh, what's that? Dinner. Um. No, look, I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, something big's come up. Right. Well, uh, how about breakfast? Okay. Not too early. I'll call you around nine. Yes, nine o'clock would be fine. So long, James. Good night, Felix. Oh, 
it's lost its chill. Oh, why, you? Sorry, right, there's another in the fridge. Who needs it? My dear girl, there are some things that just aren't done, such as drinking Dom Perignon 53 above a temperature of 38 degrees Fahrenheit. That's as bad as listening to the Beatles without earmuffs. Now, where is this passion to? Seven nine four three two, room one one nine. Hello. Hello, Felix. Get over here right away. What's up? The girl's dead. Dink. Uh, Masterson, Jill Masterson. And she's covered in paint, gold paint. Gold. All over. She died of skin suffocation. It's been known to happen to cabaret dancers. It's all right so long as you leave a small bare patch at the base of the spine to allow the skin to breathe. Someone obviously didn't. And I know who. This isn't a personal vendetta, 007. It's an assignment like any other. But if you can't treat it as such coldly and objectively, the 008 can replace him. You've hardly distinguished yourself, have you? You were supposed to observe Mr. Goldfinger, not bother his girlfriend. Instead of that, Goldfinger goes off to Europe, and it's only by the grace of God, your friend Leiter, and my intervention with the British Embassy in Washington, that you're not in the custody of the Miami Beach police. Sir, I'm aware of my shortcomings, but I'm prepared to continue this assignment in the spirit you suggest, if I knew what it was about. Sir. What do you know about gold? Not paint bullion. I know it when I see it. Meet me here at seven. Black tie. Now, what do you know about gold money, Penny? Oh, the only gold I know about is the kind you wear. You know, on the third finger of your left hand. Hmm. Well, one of these days, we really must look into that. Well, what about tonight? You come around for dinner, and I'll cook you a beautiful angel cake. Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure, but unfortunately, I do have a business appointment. That's the flimsiest excuse you've ever given me. Oh, well, some girls have all the luck. Who is she, James? She is me, Miss Moneypenny. And kindly omit the customary byplay with 007. He's dining with me. I don't want him to be late. So there's hope for me yet. <laughs> 